Dear friends, welcome to my channel Understanding RSGIS and Geography. In this video, I am going to discuss about important concepts of fluvial geomorphology, better to say key concepts, several few key concepts of fluvial geomorphology. First one is static rejuvenation. What is static rejuvenation? It is caused by decrease of river load, means river sediment load, uh, increase in the volume of water, means increasing the water load and conse consequent stream discharge due to increased rainfall or melt water. This type of rejuvenation is called as static re rejuvenation. And next one is what is graded stream or profile of equilibrium. Graded stream or profile of equilibrium is defined as the stream where a balance of energy of transportation and the amount of load to be transported means where in the streams, those type of streams will be called as gutter stream where there was balance between the energy of transportation means how much energy to transport the material and the amount of load to be transported where there is a balance means there is no erosion and no deposition. Such kind of river or such kind of stream is called gutter stream and such kind of or profile of the stream is called as profile of equilibrium means where no uh, energy is excess or deficit. Now the next one is when the river it erodes its valley down to the base level of erosion and developed a profile of equilibrium is called a graded river means up to in the development of profile of equilibrium it was not a guided river but after the pro development of uh, a profile of equilibrium the river named as or called as guided river means where no erosion and no deposition will be occurred only transportation will be occurred and where the energy is equal to the transportation energy for that reason there will be no erosion means no excess of energy if energy excess then erosion will be occurred and if uh, energy deficit then and deposition will be occurred but th at that situation uh, at a certain condition and uh, where no erosion and no deposition was occurred and uh, that profile is called as profile of equilibrium and to build such a profile of equilibrium the river is uh, converted to graded river or, or uh, we can say it's is a uh, graded stream also and the next one is what is fluvial landforms it is very simple in uh, fluvial geomorphology landforms produced by running water is also called as fluvial landforms the landforms which are produced or developed by running water means river flow that landforms are called as fluvial landforms and the next one is what is braided channel the British channel characterized by large number of river islands within the channel causes widening, winding and bifurcated channel flow means meandering and bifurcated channel flow. This type of channel where within the channel uh, temporary or permanent river island are located and, and uh, which makes the channel widened and uh, winding means meandering and uh, which causes the bifurcated channel flow this type of channel is called as braided channel and the next one is Gilbert's sixth power law means the transportation power of the streams is proportional to the sixth power of the velocity of river water means when the uh, this law shows that at um, the transportation power of the streams will be sixth power or, uh, of the velocity and the next one is bedrock channel the streams developed and the streams or channel developed over the parent rock or well consolidated rocks is called as bed lot basically in the mountain area uh, where uh, deposition is not occurred at uh, there are uh, um, basically uh, in the mountain area their bedrock channel uh, um, uh, can be seen at alluvial channel and the streams developed over the sediment or alluvial surface means where the deposition occurred that type of channel is called as alluvial channel that's maybe sand alluvial channel or that's also maybe a gravel alluvial channel and the next one is avulsion very rapid channel diversion 
winding of the channel and meander shift is called avulsion means very rapid channel diversion and uh, and meander shift is called as avulsion and the next one is pull what is pull pulls basically pull means a depression like situation means where the um, uh, height is low a topographic low in the channel a topographic low within the channel or in the channel where mean water surface lower than the mean of the channel profile this topographic low situation in the channel is called as pool and then now the refill refill is a topographic high in the channel where mean water surface higher than the mean of the channel profile means sometimes there are and there in the long profile of the channel sometimes there were there are high altitude in the river and where sometimes and there are low altitude in the river that's maybe the uh, the reason of the uh, hydraulics of the river are and in the low uh, means uh, low altitude it's called pool and high means high altitude it's called as refill and thanks for watching till the end thank you so much please subscribe my channel and uh, click on bell icon to get notification of new videos from my channel thank you